Do you know if artificial sweeteners like sucralose are healthier than white sugar? And do you know what milk coffee with sucralose does to blood sugar levels? I have a continuous glucose monitor and let's unravel. I have tried milk coffee with white and brown sugar, honey and jaggery. And all of these are different names of sugar since each of them gave me a spike over 20 mg. Not good, especially if you're diabetic. Now sucralose is a zero calorie sweetener. It's 600 times sweeter than white sugar and it was marked safe by the FDA back in 1998. Sounds promising. Let's see. I'm adding two tablespoons or 16 grams of sucralose to my milk coffee and let's see what it does. Wow, this is insanely sweet, like having sugar syrup. It's been a few hours. Let's take a look at the results. A 13 mg spike, but I thought sucralose was a zero calorie sweetener, so it should not cause a glucose spike. Turns out 16% of sucralose still gets absorbed by our gut, and that explains the glucose spike. But despite being extremely sweet, it still gave me a lower glucose spike in comparison to coffee with white sugar. The sucralose that does not get absorbed by your gut reaches down to large intestines when it messes with your gut bacteria, decreasing the good ones and increasing the inflammation causing ones. And that is harmful. Both sugar and sucralose seem to be bad. So how do you choose the lesser evil? If you're trying to cut down on your sugar intake, sucralose can be a great transition for short term until you don't need either of them. If you're diabetic and trying to lose weight, sucralose might be the lesser evil. It causes a lower glucose spike than sugar and it has less calories. 